الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله the question was asked about praying at home versus praying in the masjid and is it better to pray the sunnas at home in answer to that question, the Prophet ﷺ said in the authentic hadith, and I'm not sure if it's in Bukhari or Muslim or both, but it's a well-known authentic hadith of the Messenger of Allah ﷺ. And he said, Salata ahadakum afdal fi baytihi o Salati ahadakum Afdal fi baytihi min masjid min masjid min masjidi hadha illa maktuba or kama qala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the prayer of one of you is better in his house uh, is better than the prayer in this house, in this masjid, and he was talking about his masjid. This is the Prophet Wasallam's masjid, Masjid al-Haram in Medina. So he said that the prayer of one of you in his home is better than the prayer in Masjid al-Haram. And, and, that, and, and this is the Prophet Wasallam's masjid, and that includes all the other masjid, Masjid al-Haram in Mecca as well. And then what did he say, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Illa maktuba, except, uh, except the wajib salat, except the obligatory salat, those salats that are prescribed for us. Letting us know that according to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to pray your sunnans at your home in general is better than praying it in the masjid. So, for example, the one who lives in Mecca or Medina, and they're going to pray their sunnahs of Dhuhr, for example, it would be better if they have the opportunity and the option for them to pray their sunnahs at home and then go to the haram and pray their obligatory prayer, the Dhuhr or, or whatever the case may be. And that shows us the benefits of praying in the masjid and the benefits of also praying at home. And the Prophet ﷺ said in another hadith, La taj'al buyutukum kuburan. Or kama qala nabi sallallahu Don't make your homes uh, like graves or like a grave. And how would our homes resemble a grave? They resemble our graves, uh, resemble a grave if there is no worship in it. If there is no one making ta'deem of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if there is no one praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then you've made your home like a grave, that it is dead, meaning without ibadah, without the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and without, without the life and the... Uh, the greatness of worship. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.